Good morning everybody. It is the 4th of January uh, which makes this the 35th uh, day of Vlogmas and I changed my morning routine to come and check up on my trees and I met my neighbor who's walking her dog. I'll chat with her a bit and I'll see you later. So all the trees are in place. Neighbor is doing fine. Her dog is doing fine. So I'm chilling with my dog and I changed a little bit my morning routine to include more walks, you guys. I've been, I've been suffering a bit, you know, with being a hermit and whatnot. So I have to push myself to do more walks. So uh, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, one more hello and one more good morning from my dog. And I'll see you later with all the beautiful knitting that we will do today. Yeah, buddy? Yeah, come on. Okay, see you later. Okay, you guys, once again, I'm here to measure the Vlogmas blanket. I need the longitude of two meters. I'm at 156, 157, so 43 centimeters more. I just finished this uh, red whitish stripe of color and I continue with the beige but somehow at the middle of this beige color some pink slide in so I want to cut this piece and add another ball of yarn because I have I think two or three more uh, balls of this reclaimed yarn my mom reclaimed it so I think it goes very well with these stripes of beige color to balance out so this is my Vlogmas blanket thus far and yes of course every time I want to measure it my cats and my dog want to be in the frame so now you can see a comparison you know to see it how big it is there it is I've been working on it on it for 34 days and still I'm very far away from finishing it but you know any progress is pro good progress that's always my motto so you guys i have my vlogmas blanket here i have my temperature blanket here but my hands hurt so bad and i'm kind of craving a a finished object i'm craving something to finish and remove from this corner from this pile so i think that the the closest thing to being finished is this pair of socks i've been working on it only when i have my coffee in the morning now i have my third or fourth coffee yes yes i'm coming i'm coming uh, but I'm really craving a finished object and I think that I'm just gonna chill and maybe finish this sock so that I feel accomplished for today. So this is the plan for today, at least one finished object. I'll see you later. As I look at my beautiful cat laying in the sun, I finished the socks, you guys, finally, wait, oh, the light is so strong. Yep. Finally, a finished object. I'm gonna go and weave in the ends so that it looks nice and beautiful. You guys, the socks are done completely. All the ends are weaved in. I love how they feel and these are gonna stay with me. I'm, I decided that they're not gonna be gifted to anyone. They're gonna be mine. Also, I have a question. Can somebody explain to me why the inside out ribbing is so much more well defined and beautiful than the simple outside ribbing? This is how the socks are regularly and this is inside out. And I like this definition much better. I don't know why. And I think I ha it happened the same in a sweater. Inside out ribbing was so loose whilst the the outside ribbing was so loose whilst the inside out it's so well defined even the colors look much better is it or is it just me i don't know i think it, it might be just me i'm just so excited that i have a finished object for today 
Okay, so if I remember well, in the previous videos when I showed the whips, I was saying that priority numero uno is the blue sweater. So now that one is finished, it's still wet and it's still drying up after the blocking. And the priority uno puento uno, 1.1, was the black vest. So I found the black vest, it's in this bag. So I think I'm just gonna start working on it. Oh, and this the cardigan has not even uh, been casted on. So um, yeah, I think, I think, I think I'm gonna take a break. And when I have some time, I'm gonna work on the black vest. See you later. I do have the black vest right here, but I have to be very honest, I have not worked on it at all. Instead, <laughs> I came back to my favorite color at the moment, blue, and I'm working on the New Year cast on. New Year cast on? Yeah, that's how I call it. It will be a sort of a face cloth or hand cloth, and it's probably going to be octagon shaped. And actually, I regret not doing the eye cord edge, but I guess after I cast it off, I can do the eye cord edging with maybe another color. And this is 100% um, cotton yarn from Filanina. This is a cotton that I used for a summer blouse. And I'm using the leftover to make this hand towel or dishcloth or whatever it will be. And I really wanted to see how this variegated yarn will look like in a garter row, garter stitch. And this is how it looks. I kind of like it. I will see. Maybe I'll manage to work on something else this evening. But otherwise, I'm taking it easy. Much awaited rest. For me, it's good. It's doing me good. Um, what else? Yep. I, I should be working on the black vest. But I don't think I'm in the mood. So I'll just continue working on this. And I'll see you later. Okay, let's make a short recap of what I managed to knit. I worked on this cast on, which is going to be a dishcloth or a face cloth, and I wanted to measure it. And I have the width of 26 or 27 centimeters. And if I want to make it as an octagon, this means that I need to work, um, let's say, 14 centimeters more. Uh, to make it sort of equal or sort of balanced. So I would say I am halfway there, more than halfway there, and which is cool because I wanted to cast on something, but not something that is overburdening because I have so many whips, you guys. <laughs> you have seen, I have a lot of whips. And I also came back to the black vest, you guys. Actually, I had to switch the needles because the 3.25 millimeters were in this face cloth. So I had to find my 3 millimeters to, um, to release the 3.25 so that I can work on the black vest. It is so hard to maintain it clean. It's crazy. I keep on, I keep a sticky roller next to me, but still it's, it doesn't stay clean. So the idea was to make a vest for my nephew uh, with a more dense fabric. This is why I started knitting it the second time. And the idea was that I needed 42 centimeters. And let's say that this is 42 centimeters. You see, I have a long way to go. I have 14, 15 centimeters more. Oh my God, and this scares me because I've started this vest a while ago. Let me double check. So 42 or even 43 centimeters would be here. 
Uh, yeah, I have 15 or 16 centimeters more to work. And when you when I look at it like this, just visually, it looks a bit too long. It looks like a round tube. But my nephew is uh, tall and skinny. And last time when I did the first version and I had him uh, try it on, it fit him quite well. The only thing that he needed it, it was a bit longer. This is why I want to make it to 40 two or 43 centimeters before I start making the armholes so I think that tonight I will pause the face cloth and I will continue working a little bit on the black vest I'll see I'll alternate between the black vest and the face cloth but I'm really happy that at least today I have the finished object the socks so I did, I did obtain a finished object today and I will make more progress on the black vest which was the priority 1.1 as I remember. So once I finish this one, that's it. I'm going to have freedom. I am going to work on whatever I like. But let's say it's a self-imposed pressure to finish it because it's a gift for my nephew. And um, I will see you a bit later with the Vlogmas blanket. Okay, now if to speak about the star of my Vlogmas videos, my scrappy blanket or the Vlogmas blanket as I call it, I am at a beige stripe of color. I only did three garter rows, but I'm already thinking in advance what other color will I use next. So I used some solid colors. I think it's time for a variegated or like something that is going from one color to another. And I looked at my scrap scraps and I have this maybe some uh, sock yarn which I can hold a double with a little bit of green like I looked at all the colors and it's mainly red and blue because these are the colors that I usually work with red blue I see a bit of pink but usually it's red and blue so maybe I should add this color because it has a little bit of yellow a little bit of purple and blue and gray or I can combine these two and uh, let it uh, show the a little bit of green and bay and off-white and I don't know lots of shades so after I finish this I will see which one probably I'll go for this one because it's more much more in terms of quantity and I don't want to uh, play yarn chicken again or I can combine these two however it doesn't look like it has a lot of green it's just a little bit here but here okay maybe it does have Maybe just a tiny bit of green is also nice. I'll see. Well, that being said, this is all I have for you tonight or today, you guys. I'm taking it easy because I've been dreaming about these days where I am taking it easy, decluttering my apartment, walking my dog, checking on the trees. So... It's boring, but this is my life right now and I'm so grateful for this boring existence because, oh my God, in December I was quite busy. So this is all I have for you today. I hope you're having a great day. If you're watching, thank you so much. If you're commenting, if you're liking, thank you as well. And I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. Let's choose red. Bye-bye.